I think for the first set, I wasn't really used to her tempo and her rhythm of, of the game. So uh, I tried to adapt to it and then make some changes to my game as well. And I, I thought I had to focus on the strategies instead, instead of thinking on uh, thinking of the first set. My, my opponent just came back from the Youth Olympic Games with a fourth placing. Uh, I think I, I was well prepared and they, that made the difference. I think that uh, Asian Games for me is really a learning experience of watching, gaining exposure, um, looking at how world-class players adapt to the changes in a game and how they deal with pressure. I, I think that's what I'm hoping to take away from these games. For my style of play, it's very vital to stay calm and cool. Uh, so I, I think that, that has something to do with the training. And also, um, when you are very focused on the strategies and when you're focused in the game, uh, you, you don't really have too much emotions going through your mind. So I think that helps. After Asian Games, we'll be going for a pro tour. So uh, we'll probably be going to Sweden to compete. So uh, I'll be expecting many competitions uh, in the lead up to the SEA Games. SEA Games is definitely very important to me because it, um, I'll be playing in front of a home crowd and talking about it makes me excited already. So I definitely be putting in my very best and I think it's important that I really focus on the process um, of becoming a better player uh, both um, mentally and in terms of the understanding of the game. I think that's important for me in the lead up to the SEA Games.